Okay. Good morning. Good morning, fellow Toastmasters and dear guests. I am Toastmaster Manas Naik. Please to be your certain items for today's meeting. I welcome you all to the 55th meeting of Speakers Community Toastmasters Club. I can give you a ballpark figure that today's meeting is going to be a great one as all the speakers uh, are at their level one and already tightened their shoes to give the best. So I am excited today because all Christmas are working restlessly since the morning. It seems today's meeting theme is already on them. I'm sure at the end of the meeting, all we will be on that themes. So before starting the meeting, I would like to mention some ground rules which we follow in our Toastmaster meeting. Now, as our meeting are happening online because of this pandemic, so some ground rule we need to follow in this online meeting environment. I request all of you to rename yourself. All Toastmasters can prefix TM Tango Mango to your name and guests can prefix guest. I also request all the speakers and role holders to prefix their role to their name speaker one, speaker two, so that it is very easy to identify them. I give you 10 seconds for this activity. If any hurdles, then just let me know. I will happy to help you. Second rule that please request you to turn off your mobile phones and put them on silent mode and request you also not to type in that chat box when a speaker is speaking as it disturbs the speaker. You can use the private chat box to provide your feedback. You are all requested to keep your video on if you're not moving around or not sipping any drinks and audio on mute in case you are not speaking. As Toastmaster, we do not know, we do not talk about sex, religion, and politics. So please refrain from discussing these topics. You can connect with me for any technical glitch. I am your Sajjan and Arms as well as Tech Master for today's meeting. This meeting is being recorded. In case you have any reservation, please let us know so that we can take further. You can network after the meeting because we have the networking session after this meeting. So you, I am requesting you to join on that network session. And all the speakers are requested to do a quick audio video check before they start their speech and ensure to pin the timer and confirm that time is visible at all times. So here we can display hi-fi or namaste when taking over or leaving for a row. So now I am opening speakers community to Smashers club so 55th meeting officially. Let me share the mission of the club. We provide a supportive and positive learning experience in which members are empowered to develop communications and leadership skills, resulting in greater self-confidence and personal growth. So now it's a time for me to invite our presiding officer. It's my greater great pleasure to introduce our presiding officer who is going to talk our club business. He is pursuing PhD in electrical engineer because who have publication in various reputed international American and Russian journals. It's our privilege to have him as presiding officer for that day. Now, without any giving any hints, just let me invite our presiding officer with a round of applause. He is none other than our Toastmaster Dheeras, our President Dheeras. Over to you, Dheeras. Thank you, Sergeant and uh, Manas. I was missing your energetic startup of the meeting. So today we all experienced this thing. Thank you for such a wonderful start. And thanks for giving me such a wonderful appreciation. Namaste, Toastmaster and the guest. Welcome to the 55th meeting of Speakers Community Toastmaster Club. One thing I learned after reading a lot of book is that anyone working on a big vision is going to be called crazy, even if he or she ends up right. Anyone working on a complex situation, complex problem will be called crazy for not understanding it fully, even though it's very difficult to know everything upfront, it is beforehand. 
when i heard the word crazy for the first time the two things instantly popped up in my mind the first one is crazy kiare song of the ashwarya rai she looks damn beautiful in that song and another is a scientist james maxwell so those who don't know i think that everyone has gone through the 12th standard science book and everyone is aware about the unified theory of electromagnetism given by the james maxwell so he is considered as the third most prominent scientist after newton albert einstein and he is the third person so when he gave the unified theory of electromagnetism and to give you a perspective of how important that theory was today any electronics you touch to talk about internet 4g 5g communication everything is because of the work done by the james maxwell but in spite of all these things when in 1860s i think he gave the unified theory of electromagnetism and at that time the senior scientist called him crazy called his work useless it's nothing nonsense and it took 100 years for the mankind to realize the importance of the work he did in his research so don't be feel low if someone calls you crazy because it takes time to understand the work you have done and i finish up with a quote that today they call you crazy tomorrow they will call you boss and the real life example is the elon musk i was reading his book elon musk so if you go through this book you will realize that everyone called him crazy that you are wasting your money on space as you are wasting your money on tesla but he proved everyone wrong even though everyone called him crazy now he is the richest man on the earth and i'd like to call upon our toast master of the day and i would like to thank him first that he has chosen such a right a thing which is very prevalent and prominent for today's era when people are used to call crazy and to any ambitious person uh, with this i hand over the stage to our very eloquent energetic and elegant first master of the day akash chakrabarty over to you akash over to you you are on silent akashak uh, can you hear me now yes yes sorry uh, thank you for the welcome uh, officer dheeraj welcome toastmasters and guests stop staring at me like that and yen you will be calling me the crazy one ha huh? look at all of you just silently sipping on your drinks and munching your food hiding behind your virtual backgrounds is that why we have so many cameras off ah busted as the toastmaster of the day i have many irresponsibilities or oh, i meant to say responsibilities oh god the truth came out too soon fine i am immature i am a little kid i can start crying at any moment okay hold on i need to balance this out with some gyan or philosophy but i'll have to do that later okay so what level of crazy are you guys give me some examples any one of you I was running. Yeah. Yes. Go ahead, Kalpana. Oh, okay. I was crazy enough. As I said, I was a child of about six or seven. We had a well in our house, which was covered with tiles. That is what they call it—the sloping tiles, which you generally find it in Kerala. I used to jump over the small parapet and enjoyed walking on it till I was discovered by my mother and thrashed soundly. because she thought if one of the tile you know the kerala style homes which had those uh, tiles that were made out of mud not the current tiles that i'm talking about she said if one of them happened to fall or crack you would be down there like a wet cat in that well you know and you don't know swimming stop it so i think i enjoyed going to higher places adventure and uh, do crazy stuff not as crazy to walk on the parapet of my third floor <laughs> terrace of course but yes i have jumped on the roofs from the terraces sat there with people trying to hunt me down so i think those are some craziest moments of my life great great kalpana <laughs> glad to hear that uh, dheeraj <laughs> also had something to say i think so what i did my injuring days uh, one professor punished me in the class so i was very revengeful and i wanted to take the revenge so when he went to the washroom i locked him and as i turned around i found the head of the department has seen me locking him so that is one of the craziest thing i did at that time 
Great. Wow, we have some really crazy stories. Okay. <laughs> well, I I think I might be the lesser crazy one now listening to you guys. Anyways, my level of crazy is walking twenty seven kilometers in on a Sunday. My level of crazy is reading a book in six six hours in a single sitting. My level of crazy is messaging a CEO on LinkedIn and getting a job offer through that. And my level of crazy is not not asking anyone is in this meeting for their introductions. Today I'll tell you what I feel or noticed about them. Don't pardon me if I'm wrong because I am crazy. So the textbook definition for crazy is insane, unsound of mind. It's about madness. There's lunacy. What's the social definition? Someone who does what others are scared to do. In a world fascinated with conformity, mediocrity is sanity. People are unfortunately content living up to the status quo. Go to school, get a good job, buy a house, and have kids. Today, I'll tell you ten reasons why crazy people make it far in life. I have spread them across this session, so you stay throughout the meeting. But even if you don't, I'm sure you will look at the recording. Reason one: they create new boxes for normal people to think out, think inside of. Crazy people create new norms and not just challenge them. Innovation for them means making something that already exists better. Reason two: they're too foolish to be scared. The goals of crazy people do not consider what if possibilities of failure. There is no plan B for them, and failure is a word with no meaning. So that's two and eight to go. Okay, for the benefit of the attendees, including guests, the session has been divided into three parts. The first section is the standard package deal, prepared speeches. Our esteemed speakers will be giving their speeches, and their evaluators will be waiting their delivery. The second session is the table topics, which are impromptu speeches by anyone in the audience, including guests. You get one to two minutes on a random topic assigned by the table topic master. The third section is the general evaluation, which includes the general evaluator taking over the session, along with their meeting evaluation and the tag team giving their individual reports. The tag team; these are three crazy people who are going to look into your soul and steal your deepest desires. Of course, I'm kidding. Who are they? Let me introduce the tag team to you. She must be busy inventing a time machine because how crazy do you have to be to be able to manage time from a different zone? The timekeeper, Toastmaster Nikita, kindly explain your role. Hi, I am Nikita, the timer for today. My role is to evaluate the timing for the prepared speeches, the table topics, and the evaluation. The time allotted for the prepared speeches is five to seven minutes, and for the icebreaker, it is four to six minutes. The green card will be shown at five minutes, uh, the uh, yellow card at uh, six minutes, and the red card at seven minutes. There is a thirty-second grace before and after the uh, time allocated. For the icebreaker, the timing card will be shown at the green card will be shown at four minutes, the yellow card at five minutes, and the red card at six minutes. Again, there's a thirty-second uh, grace period for both. For the table topic session, the time allocated is one to two minutes. The green card will be shown at one minute, the yellow card at one and a half, and the red card at two. Again, with a thirty-second grace. Uh, for the evaluation, the time allocated is two to three minutes. With again, the green card being shown at two minutes, the yellow card being shown at uh, uh, two and a half minutes, and the red card at three minutes, uh, with a thirty-second grace in. Uh, for the evaluations as well. Thank you, and over to you, Toastmaster of the day. Thank you. To the next one. He is crazy enough to take this role four hours before the meeting. I'm sure he has done other crazy things which I can't tell you about in this session. Harsh. Message me after the meeting to know more about it. Kindly share your words with us about your role, Toastmaster Harsh. Um. Hello, everyone. Uh. Good evening. dear toast masters and the guests the purpose of the hour counter is to note the words and sound that are used as a crutch or pause filler by anyone who speaks during the meeting i'll listen for overused words including and well but so and you know i'll also listen for filler sounds including a ah, um ar ah. i'll also note when speaker repeats a word or phrase such as i i or this means this means 
at the end of the meeting i'll report the number of times that each speaker used this expressions thank you over to you uh, toastmaster of the day thank you harsh i believe we don't have our grammarian today so i guess i can be the one doing it because i really enjoy doing that um okay let's move on to the prepared speeches the first speaker for the day is toastmaster rishav who is sitting right by my side he'll be delivering his icebreaker speech i mean the level of craziness he has he wants to use my screen to deliver his speech oh wait a minute i'm actually using his laptop to do that um his evaluation will be conducted by my mentor who keeps me on my toes and scares me to my wits and is she crazy too i shouldn't tell you that or i'll be in trouble toastmaster kalpana kindly share your thoughts and toastmaster rishav's speech objectives thank you my dear crazy mentee akarshak you really drive us nuts and we enjoy that about you let me toil to talk to you about our first speaker of the day today rishav jain he is giving his ice breaking speech and the speech will be for 3 to 5 minutes timer kindly note the time it says ice breaking speech over to you toastmaster of the day akarshak thank you toastmaster kalpana uh, since rishav is right by my side we don't need to do an audio video check we'll skip that so toastmaster rishav i am not done yet i am not done yet toastmaster rishav over to you sorry uh, can you give me the screen sharing rights to show the timer cards so master yes we are doing any kid you can try that no yeah it's visible are the time cards visible to you so uh, okay i'll start uh, thank you crazy toast master of the day uh, so i'll be giving my ice breaker speech so greetings to you all fellow toast masters and dear guests I know you must be wondering if you have heard the title before. Well, yes, you are right. I have borrowed the title from a fellow Punjabi who is also living in Mumbai, Kapil Sharma. I think the title resonates with me more than anything, and it's the kind of attitude I have built over the years. So today I'll be delivering my icebreaker speech, a chance for me to introduce myself. Who am I? I am a brother, a son, a friend, an employee, a motivator, a teacher, an entertainer, and many more hats I'll be adorning in the future. I was born and brought up in a Punjabi business joint family and had a very interesting childhood. Right from my birth, as I didn't come alone this into into this world, I brought my companion, my fierce competitor, along with me, my twin younger sister Riya. Younger because I'm four minutes older, but we were quite opposite. I was the aggressive and the bold one, whereas she was calm and shy. But we also had a very strange uh, and cryptic connection. Every time she used to get sick, even I used to get sick. eventually uh, both of my sister used to gang up and leave me alone and they didn't invite me in playing games so what i used to do i used to roam in in my town and make new friends and uh, play with them i was i have always been a curious and a mischievous child hustling teachers and parents with numerous questions but because of my mischievous nature they didn't used to take me seriously so i had to become atmanirbhar as per our prime minister modi ji and demystify the cryptic clues and quench my curiosity through google baba i was the entertainer of the house not by dancing or singing but through drama and some fancy dialogues some original and some borrowed from movies hey is a demo tarik pe tarik tarik pe tarik milti gayi jat sahab par insaaf na ho life was moving at its own sweet pace i was enjoying every bit of it i was into everything from sports to studies quiz competitions to dramas and plays competing with my twin at every level but now here comes the inflection point or the pivotal year in my life because of the or, or year 2016 i am what i am now the year presented me with num numerous adversities from losing two of my biggest motivators my nanu and my pupa ji losing my nanu in the middle of my board board exams my best friend battling through depression giving all the board exams while i was sick living alone in a new city all by myself and realizing my worth is at zero when i attended the first day at college but as someone has rightly said adversities make you stronger and there i was 
becoming a better version of myself with the help of my strong will, curious and positive mindset. In 2016, even with all the difficulties I faced, I helped my best friend to fight depression, convinced her not to drop and give the uh, 12 board exams, taught not only my friends, but also unprivileged children even during my board exams. I eventually topped and uh, uh, got into SRCC, uh, Sri Ram College of Commerce in Delhi. The first day at college showed my worth and that I was zero and uh, I was heartbroken, but my curiosity and my positive mindset had some other plans. I started exploring many different areas, joined different clubs and societies, was participating in different competitions, doing street plays, nukkar nataks in malls, on the roads, and uh, even volunteered for different NGOs. The guy who didn't even know what was what startups are was competing and winning competition in business plan in his second year. The guy who miserably failed in the first interview for a club was approached by seniors in the second year to start to stand in the election for the president's position, but I refused because I always wanted to start something on my own. And I started a new initiative called uh, Traders for Tomorrow, in which we used to impart uh, financial knowledge and make students independent financially. Right after college, I started working and uh, uh, started pursuing CFA. Currently, I'm living in Mumbai, working as a senior investment manager at Tata AIG and a CFA level C candidate. Apart from work, I love to travel, explore new places, play chess, reading books, binge watching movies, and TV shows and partying, Punjabi Una. I'm also planning a solo trip this year to Leh and Ladakh. Hopefully, I'll be able to achieve it. I've always believed awareness is very important, both self-awareness and general awareness. So here I am as a Toastmaster who is more than ready to work on his weakness and convert into my strength. I hope you all will be part of my journey and will help me evolve because I'm not done yet. I'll be done when my curiosity will be done with me. So with that, I'll end with a quote by Socrates, and an examined life is not worth living. Thank you. Over to you, crazy TMOG, Akashik. Thank you, Toastmaster Rishav. Uh, that's actually the first time I came to know of the speech. I didn't even know he had something crazy planned like that. Okay. So before we move on, reasons three and four why crazy people succeed. Reason three, striving for authenticity. Crazy people develop their own sense of style and paint the portrait of life exactly the way they see it. Example, wearing the same shirt every day to the office. Reason four, high on energy. Normal people always complain about going home, getting off work and doing nothing. The crazies, they dedicate themselves to a craft, work tirelessly to develop their skills. Their intent, focus, and energy gives them an advantage for success. Okay, the second speaker for the day is Toastmaster Shreya, who will be trying her L2B1 speech. Her evaluation will be conducted by our very own presiding officer, Dheeraj. He is crazy enough to take up multiple roles in the same meeting. He has been doing it for a while now, and I aspire to be that way. Toastmaster Dheeraj, Toastmaster Shreya is waiting for you to pass on the relay race, Baton. Over to you. Thank you, Toastmaster of the day. So uh, Shreya is attempting her level two project one under the pathway dynamic leadership. The purpose of this project is for the members to identify his or her primary leadership style or styles. The purpose of this speech is for the member to share some aspect of his or her primary leadership style or discuss leadership style in general. Timer, kindly note, timing is five to seven minutes. Over to you, Toastmaster of the day. Okay, thank you. Uh, Toastmaster Shreya, can we do an audio video check? Am I audible and visible? Yes. Can you see the timer cards? Yes. Okay. Toastmaster Shreya, the leader in you, the leader in you, Toastmaster Shreya. Good evening, Toastmaster of the day, fellow Toastmasters and dear guests. Today I am here on, I'm here to speak on the topic, the leader in you. So what comes to your mind when, when you hear the word leader? I bet it's definitely somebody who leads people. But is it good enough for a leader to just lead people? Somebody with the Machiavellianistic trait can also be a leader. 
but would you like to be one machiavellianism is when somebody is cunning and manipulator and can get can do anything to get to their means would you like to be somebody like that leadership is not a title that is given to somebody it's the role that you play in the day to day life and it's something that you cherish the most so in my dictionary a leader is somebody who doesn't provide you with the solutions to your problems but pushes you by asking you the right questions and makes you find the solution on your own the leader makes a positive impact in your life they should have good emotional intelligence and should be empathetic knowing oneself fully and managing the emotions effectively is an excellent trait that a leader should possess because in this day to day life we tend to project our insecurities on the other person unknowingly so having such a trait really helps a lot then a good leader promotes innovation and action they are innovative enough to take risk people are not willing to get out of their comfort zones because it threatens their sense of security this is where a good leader can make a huge difference having met such charismatic and dynamic personalities i can surely say that they truly made a long lasting impact in my life they made me question the way i used to think about certain aspects of my life they did did not only tell me about the areas of improvement but also guided me with the how part of it and most importantly they instilled within me a desire a strong desire to be like them so there are five types of leadership styles that are there and i personally believe that one can stick to a single type of leadership style different situations call for different leadership styles so the first one is authoritarian leadership in this type of leadership the manager takes full control he sets the goal the process and oversees the step that people are taking in order to reach the goal this is the most effective and the most controversial type of leadership it is critical in situations where certain tasks are needed to be performed in a specific manner and there is very less room for error for example in construction manufacturing and military even a small mistake can be very destructive the second type of leadership style is participative leadership in this type of leadership style employees are given the power in the decision making process this is really helpful for them to feel included and they it gives them a sense of motivation and they try to bring in the ideas that they have for the organization without any hesitation so it gives them a sense of satisfaction and helps in retaining them but it has a downside too because there are a large number of employees and it is time consuming to bring everyone together and reach at a consensus while taking a decision so it's a no no when there is an emergency situation you can't go for such type of leadership but it surely promote innovation the third type of leadership style is delegative leadership in this type of leadership the leader takes a back seat the leader refrains from taking the important decisions and lets the employees take the sense of responsibility this is a really good leadership style if if the employees are competitive and are willing to take the sense of responsibility but if there is conflict among the members then it is very unproductive to have such a method the fourth one is transactional leadership in the transactional leadership style 
the leader is laser focused on performance and the manager establishes predefined incentives usually in the form of monetary rewards in case of success and disciplinary measures in case of failures so these leaders are focused on mentorship instruction training and achievement of the rewards the fifth fifth style of leadership is transformational leadership these leaders are solely focused on communication goal setting and employee motivation so they try to associate the objectives the goals of the employees with that of the organization and i personally believe this is the best style of leadership that i would like to pursue and i resonate with it the most thank you everyone Shreya, you believe the crazy kinds of leaders, okay? There's one more type of leadership which is not in the textbook. Anyways. Okay, Agarsha. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so reasons five and six why crazy people succeed. They are to break rules. While rules are important, they can be limiting. If you say things like, that's the way it has always been, then you are normal and success will come uneasy to you. Question authority without any disrespect. Reason six, invent out of necessity. While crazy people look highly resourceful, the reality is that they take actions to solve a problem, which they cannot ignore any further. They fully embody the old addendum. Necessity is the mother of all inventions. Okay, so the third speaker for the day is Toastmaster Monica. who will be trying her l1p3 speech her evaluation will be done by our very own timer nikita who is also adorning multiple hats today and is just waiting to explore all the other garments in the wardrobe i'm sure she is making mental notes against me for spot lighting her again and again those master nikita kindly introduce the speaker and her objectives for the day the speaker for today the speaker number 3 is toastmaster monica toastmaster monica will be attempting her project today and the purpose of the project is for her to practice her vocal variety and her body language during the project she will be using a huge range of vocal variety and also we will note the uh, use of her hand gestures and body movement to improve her speech uh, timer please note the timing for the speech is 5 to 7 minutes over to you toastmaster of the day I think you didn't have to say that you are the timer. Anyways, Toastmaster Monica, uh, can we do a audio video check, please? Yeah, I'm audible. Yeah, can you see the timer cards? Yes. Okay, Toastmaster Monica, L I P, L I P, Toastmaster Monica. Hi, good evening all. Today I'm here to know about the L I P. L I P means the live in present then why i choose this topic i choose this topic because the most of the people the people like me means the younger people they don't know how to live in present nowadays they are addicted to mobile and the mobile is used actually uh, to connect the people far from you but it is now this working like this uh, it is actually working like this Okay. Uh, it is making you away from the people around you. So actually, today's topic is not mine about the mobile. Today's topic is the living present. The living present. So do not dwell in. Do not dwell in past. Do not dream of the future. Concentrate on. Concentrate your mind on the present and enjoy the present moment. It is said by the Buddha. I don't know if anyone has uh, said this before that uh, after the exam, if if you were prepared at the beginning or next time, I will be able to do do this next time and so on. So here is my one stories. Uh, here is one of my stories. to share with you all uh, when i had exam when i had exam i was uh, 
uh, I was planning for uh, for the subject on which day I'm going to prepare for. And what I did, I planned. And uh, actually, I was started it uh, the few days before the exam. And that time, I was like, uh, I was like, I just, my mind got uh, conscious that I had to do, and I had to do that too. Then so many subjects are there and my mind was conscious. But uh, as an engineer, you know all, the engineer student starts the one day before the exam. Even they have the enough time, still they do star study one day before. Likewise, I'm same and likewise I'm same and I, I, I will, instead of focusing on the current study, I was focusing on, uh, I was thinking about uh, what should I do after the exam and will exam go easy or not? And, uh, <clears throat> and, and uh, when the exam will get over, that's all. And uh, let, me, let me ask you the one question that uh, how many people make the to-do list, follow it, and then sleep happily? Oh. Oh, nice. Actually, I also make the to-do list, but till today, I just complete the 50% of it and just sleep happily. That's enough for me. And uh, by the way, to make it successful, the one of reason leads the mood to live in to live in present one of reason leads is a mood mood uh, now as you know all of aware of the people's mood <coughs> people uh, people used to think over used to overthink about the past and future and they spoil the present people have to manage the <clears throat> how to manage their their uh, mood and don't have to spoil their don't have to spoil their uh, current situation because because all the activities and their work and their behavior is depend on the their mood now uh, of course i'm not saying i'm not saying that they don't have to plan and they don't have to think about the future they don't have to set goal. This is not. We can we can do all of this and still enjoy the current moments. And all this means that the we have to we don't have to sacrifice the quality for quantity. Living in present is not just uh, not just letting letting the things, the past and the future, but do not do not in do not illusion for the future and uh, and and dwell in the past instead we have to live our current our current life and what's going on around us and how it uh, and how it unfolds we have to live that all the things living in present it's is uh, is give you uh, living while living in present, when you are uh, when you are positive and the optimistic, then that time you can open the possibilities of the possibilities of uh, positive and uh, and the good future. So at the end, I would like to say that the uh, present is a life. All either all all else either the memory or the imagination. Thank you. Over to it, TMOD. Thank you, Monica, for that wonderful speech. Okay, so I will ask the timer, Nikita, to share the timing reports, please. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. 
Hello. Oh, yes. Thank you, Toastmaster of the Day, Akarsha. Speaker one took five and a half minutes. Speaker two took five minutes and 27 seconds. And speaker three took six minutes and uh, 30 seconds. So all have been qualified for the voting. Okay. Thank you. All right. Let me give you reason number seven and eight why crazy people succeed. Seventh, recognizing other crazies. Whatever kind of person you are, it is easy to recognize others of the like mind. Crazies all over the world have begun a revolution to find others like them. The idea of being able to brainstorm with others who think as differently as you do gives you a greater chance of success. Reason number eight, always curious. Crazies have a mind of kids constantly asking why. Their minds are insatiable and they are not afraid to follow the rabbit hole, no matter how deep down it goes. Crazy people have a way of drawing attention to themselves. Some of you must have heard the news of Mr. Will Smith slapping the hell out of someone at the Oscars. Was he right to do that? I don't know. But was he crazy enough to do it? Of course. On this note, I would like to quote Mr. Smith himself. Fear is not real. The only place that fear can exist is in our thoughts of the future. It is a product of our imagination, causing us to fear things that do not present, do, do not as present and may not ever exist. That is near insanity. Do not misunderstand me. Danger is real, but fear is a choice. The lesson, people will say what they want to. You do whatever you want to. Asterisk. But in moderation, okay? Keep that to yourself. Okay, let us move on to the second section, which is the table topics. Our table topic master for the day is Toastmaster Anisha. With what I know, I have seen her join meetings with two devices. How crazy do you have to be to do that? And today she was not there with a single device. So I was like, wait, is this even happening? What level of crazy do you have to be? I have to aspire to be like that someday. Table Topic Master Anisha, the stage is yours. Tell us what this is all about. Good evening, Toastmaster of the day, fellow Toastmasters and guests. I am Table Topic Master and Master of the day. This is an impromptu speech session uh, of a Toastmasters meeting. It is an interesting session which will give a chance to Toastmasters and guests to sharpen their, their listening, thinking, organizing and speech delivery skills. For table topic, the time allotted is one to two minutes. Green screen will be showed at one minute, yellow at 1.5 minute and red at two minutes. A grace period of 30 seconds is given to qualify for the vote. Speaker has to speak for a minimum of one minute to qualify for the voting. All speakers are required to use word of the day. I encourage members and guests to volunteer for the session. Now let us begin with the session. Okay, so who wanna come first? I think Harsh has raised his hand, Anisha. Yeah. Anisha, Harsh is... Harsh has raised his hand. Okay, Harsh. Harsh, for you, I have a question. And the question is, what is the worst style choice you, you have ever made? What is your worst style choice you have ever made and you regret it till now uh, style choice you meant yeah okay yeah so uh, when i talk about this style i am not that enthusiastic about how i want to be seen in public but i am mindful wherever i go what i wear what how I want to appear in public. Uh, so that comes down to me from my mother. She is very particular about what she wants to wear wherever she go. And uh, when I was uh, a kid, 
uh, she used to choose um, clothes for me and today itself like whenever i want to go for a shopping i take her with me um, and every time whatever clothes i'm wear till date uh, she is the one who choose uh, chooses that the clothes and i think uh, whatever uh, you know consciousness i have about the style um, what i want to wear in some occasions how i i mean how i want to uh, look in front of the people it comes from her so uh, i would say i'm i'm a kind of average uh, not that you know very particular about the things uh, not uh, very uh, thoughtful about the brands and uh, i what i feel is you know you should be the brand like whatever you wear it should be it should reflect your personality not the brand that you wear because brand is like you know you spend 5000 bucks you can spend 10000 there is no limit like if you have a treasure then you can spend 50000 on a single jean it's not a big deal but yeah if you have something in you then you just wear whatever you want and then you go out that's kind of a personality that reflect upon and that's what society respects so that's my my belief uh the weirdest choice i made yeah so while i was while i was small i mean while i was kid um, there was a elocution competition and i became krishna and i i mean i had that whole suit of krishna and then i went and i, I was in front of the mic and i was um, i could not utter a word and i just uh, went there on a stage to let people see my whole Uh, costumes and i i mean went back to the podium i went back to the audience and it was like mummy was saying so why did you uh, you know wear and go you should have avoided taking a part in competition i said no it was just for you know i want to see how uh, you know audience look like when you are at podium so yeah that kind of things are there um, apart from that as i mentioned earlier i'm not very much conscious about what i wear uh but i do believe that one should always mindful about wherever we go we should be mindful what we are wearing because it impacts a lot it impacts your personality and your personality matters a lot so thank you over to you thanks a lot for this out of the box topic anisha over to you i'm sure you going to watch kgs <laughs> soon it will release your thoughts are truly great so next moving to forward we have nikita i guess nikita those master nikita who know yeah. uh sure i mean if it's okay you said that i have a perfect question for you would you rather be a funniest or smart person in the room would you rather be funniest or smart person in a room in the room and why because you are both <laughs> Okay. Thank you, Toastmaster Alicia, for this wonderful question. Um, would I rather be the? I would actually rather be the smartest person because a smart person knows everything. He knows how to be funny. He knows how to uh, talk to people. So if I'm a smart person, somewhere that covers me being funny, so I would rather do that. And uh, also feel like a funny person is good for certain occasions, but a smart person can fit into any occasion. For example. uh when we have uh, people who are suffering and they have something uh, going on in their life they would not like me to joke about it but they would definitely like <laughs> that if i'm smart and i can solve their problem so i would rather do that and uh, yeah so i think a big smart person would cover everything so that uh, would be something um having said that i think um uh, being funny is also uh, important and uh, uh well <laughs> yes of course uh you can see that this question itself has put me in a spot where i don't know if i should be funny or smart right now so uh yes so with that i would like to uh end my debut of session for now thank you so much for so much for putting me in the spot thank you <laughs> Have yeah, Anisha, that one from Akarsak or Rishab, someone is there. Kailash is also there. Yeah, Ak- okay. I didn't see that. Uh, Akarsak. No, no, Rishab. Both of us together, actually. 
See, that's the crazy thing about it. Huh? Whom should I go for? Ah, uh, Risha. <laughs> Risha. Okay, yeah. next, Risha. So, for Risha, I have a question for you, and that is. <laughs> You have your own late night talk show. What do you, who do you invite as your first guest? Okay. If you have your own late night show, who do you invite as a, as your guest? As my first guest or just as a guest? Like, uh, as your first guest. Okay. Uh, thank you, Table Topic Master Nisha. So thank you for giving a very interesting topic. So the uh, like on my late night talk show, I would like to uh, invite my uh, Prime Minister Modi ji, and the reason why. So I think like he has always been a good orator. Like he has given multiple speeches, but I want to see his impromptu side. So I would like I would even invite him over the stage and would like to like address him on certain issues like uh, on India like on the religion or some different aspect and and also talk about the policies like he's having regarding in India like I would just just love to uh, know the logic of behind the uh, the the uh, all the riots like which we had in Delhi last year last to last year. And then uh, I'll I'll be discussing on the frequent travels he's doing and which place he does he enjoy the most like what kind of cuisine does he prefer like I've always and would also uh, like to know the reason behind his uh, the recent look he's having with a long beard and giving a full babaji look uh, on TV channels so yeah so I'll be I think this is crazy enough to invite as the, our president officer Dheeraj Singh uh, mentioned on the chat. So I'll be just trying to decrypt and demystify the cryptic messages or the, the clues or the policies having for India. Because as we have seen, like he has been one of the most successful prime ministers in India. And, and he has done a lot more stuff, like even economically, like the India has a very, very good position currently uh, considering all the crises happening in the world. So I think I'll just uh, have a good discussion on politics, religion, and every different aspect so that I'll just get to know him better. I just don't want to know his, uh, you know, the structured side, side of his, uh, like our table topics. I would just want to know his, uh, uh, what do you say, the extemper side, the impromptu side. Thank you. Over to you, Toastmaster Anisha. That's a different guest. Okay. Thank you so much. Next. Uh, I guess we have a Toastmaster Kailash or Toastmaster who wants to go. Uh, give it to Kailash. Give it to Kailash. Toastmaster Kailash. Toastmaster Kailash, your question is if you had to eat one meal every day for the rest of your life, what would it be? If you have to eat one meal Every day for the rest of your life, what would it be? One meal. I think it is a, a tough topic here. When you eat uh, one meal every day for the rest of life, I'll give an incident before this. I went to check up the hospital. They have, they have given me a right plan for me to eat. So. They remove the milk from there, they remove the butter from there, they remove multiple things from there, and finally, like, you need to eat a uh, uh, boiled thing with the salt. Okay. So, I have seen that diet plan. I came to home, I followed for the next four hours, then I go like, I don't want to leave further. You just uh, throw this diet plan aside. I asked my wife, we throw this diet uh, plan uh, aside and start whatever we have daily process. So thing here is, if I need to eat uh, one meal uh, for the rest of my life, uh, I think that should be a combination of uh, multiple uh, ingredients. So like it is uh, one day I'll take, take uh, uh, every day, same, same meal, uh, we need to enjoy it in different ways. Like, uh, I'm not getting any name, but like currently uh, we can have, uh, like if, if I tell one salad with four to five fruits or something, 
so we can enjoy with that that also so like it is our uh, uh, perception how we need to choose that like we need to have uh, if uh, if i go with rajasthani then i can have a uh, lal bati churma which we can have the combination of multiple uh, uh, dishes in in that one dish so i think uh, if we use some uh, it is there only only one, one minute to decide this if i have one day then surely uh, we may come up with uh, multiple ideas for this thank you okay thank you kailash now i guess raza wants to go next so master raza are you there Yeah, I can go next. So, Master Raza, your I have a question for you, and that is, which are more cooler, dinosaurs or dragons? Thank, thank you, you to Master Anisha. Yeah, I I believe that I would go after dinosaurs because they seem to be more realistic than the others. And why I do believe that dinosaurs are way cooler because they are way hotter than give me a sec there is some technical issue from mine can you continue we can Sure, sure. Meanwhile, yes, we can yes. go with the next one. Manas, can give it. Manas. Oh. Okay. Manas, I have the same question for you. Which are more cooler, dinosaurs or dragons? If you want to uh, say dinosaurs, you have seen Jurassic Park, so remember the dinosaurs and all, and. Uh, Cooler than Harry Potter movie. We have dragons there. So, which are more cooler to you, dinosaurs or dragons? Yeah, good, good topic, Anisha. So, as per me, that all the animals are cooler, and that all as a human being, we are also one type of animals. So, we are the best. You know, best coolest person, and uh, you know that uh, today, today when my table dubbing master has not joined on time, and uh, people have started messaging me, and I am the the person who is just beyond in from my mind, and I am just trying to reach her. So that. Uh, As I told you that uh, that human beings are that one by one animal, so I am the best coolest. So human beings are best coolest rather than the dinosaur and the, um, you know other animals. But yes, if you when you give me the two animals, then it's the dragon. We can say that because dragons are actually people are scared about the dragons by seeing that movies. How the director, how the producer, how that they are shown to. you know collect um, uh, to hit their movie to collect uh, and uh, to get that uh, you know approach by you know they are just showing that uh, other parts of that animals uh, to you know uh, if they if they show that uh, different but coolest part of that uh, animal then they cannot be that movie cannot be that hit and that movie cannot be blockbusters because people are people are uh you know they do not like to see that coolest past uh, coolest part of anyone even that human being also they are like to that villain roles they are like to that crazy roles they are like to see that different which is that they are not like to see that ram or krishna they are like to see that ravan what they are doing and how they are performing and all that things but yes definitely i will like to end that coolest animal is dragon who is very scared and the simplest coolest is that animal simple cool animal is human being thank you thank you anisha for that great topic 
Thank you so much, Manas. Um, yes, uh, Radha, yes. Radha yes. has joined, so you can give him the topic. Okay. Uh, before that, you can go with the guest. Yes, Neha, are you there? She is not. Okay. Toastmaster Raza, are you there? Yeah, hopefully this works. Okay. Now I have a different one for you. <laughs> Toastmaster Radha, uh, your question is, if a movie was made, if a movie was made of your life, what genre would it be? And who would play you? If a movie was made of your life, what genre would it be? And who would play you? Toastmaster Radha. Yeah. Yeah, thank you, Anisha. So, I believe that if a movie was made on me, then it would be certainly a sci-fi film. And because I cannot be comprehended by a human human being, there are many versions of me, and I I basically relate to sci-fi things more than uh, what you say, a normal film or a horror film or a fun fun film. And the person I would like. To play me would be Shah Rukh Khan. I am a huge Shah Rukh Khan fan, and I have never seen Shah Rukh Khan in that form. Yeah, there was one film, Ravan, Ravan. which did, yeah, which did not go well for him. So I believe that if he plays me, then it would be a second chance for him in this genre. And basically, even I would like to see myself being played by Shah Rukh Khan. I am that huge Shah Rukh Khan fan. So hopefully. One day that might be true. I'm not sure if he makes a return to the Bollywood film industry again. I'm audible, right? Yeah. Yes, you are. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Raza. Is guest Neha still there? I think I should wrap up with the session. And uh, can we have the timing reports? Yes, the table topic master Renisha. The first speaker took two minutes fifty four seconds, uh, which was harsh. The second speaker took uh, one minute twenty seconds. The third speaker took two minutes three seconds. The uh, next speaker took two minutes seven seconds and uh, two minutes eight seconds, and the last speaker took one minute fourteen seconds. So all except for Harsh have qualified for the voting. Thank you, and over to you, Toastmaster of the day, Toastmaster Akarsha. Uh, thank you, Toastmaster Anisha. Lovely topics and very engaging. I wish I could have also participated, but unfortunately, my counterpart had to do it today. Anyways, uh, going forward, uh, I believe we have to do the voting also, right? Uh, uh, Zoom master, can we do the voting for the first section now, or? Yeah. Yes, we can go for the best speaker. Yeah. Zoom master, please raise the poll. No, actually, we should wait for the feedback. Uh, no, that will manipulate the polls. So before. No, it does. Should... Oh, is it Please so? Yeah, yeah, Kalpana. Yeah, yeah. Before, before okay, okay. We'll... Yeah, yeah. Okay, done. And then we'll have to do the one for the table topics as well now. Is this one done? Ah, yes. Next table topic. Yeah, table topics. Can we do?
Just confirm one once it's done, please. Ah, uh, yes, it's done. Okay, thank you. Moving ahead, I'm left with just two more reasons why crazy people succeed. Reason nine, like a dog with a bone. Once crazy sink their teeth into something, they never let go. They become obsessed with certain problems and how to solve them. No matter how impossible a task supposedly is, they will always find a way. Reason ten, they don't label. Crazy people don't label people or problems. They are only intrigued by what is inside a person. While normal people see defined lines and segregate people, crazies see only heart and passion. By doing this, they are able to surround themselves with an extremely diverse group of talent and unlock the human potential and ability for action. Now, I would like to hand over the stage to our general evaluator, Toastmaster Arthi. Toastmaster Arthi gave my evaluation in my last speech, which feels like ages away, and it helped me improve a lot. She is energetic and jolly, and always brings a smile to the meeting. Toastmaster Arthi, please take it away. Thank you, Toastmaster Akar sir, for the wonderful introduction. Byron said, and I quote. When the creative mind is unleashed and understands its true, true value, nature, it's unlimited. There's nothing you can't do. Good evening, fellow Toastmasters and guests. I am Toastmaster Arti, evaluator for today's meeting. I am really gone crazy to listen to different stories of our Toastmasters. I would like to thank Toastmasters of the day, Toastmaster of the day to choose this theme. Everyone has some, some story of craziness in their life. Now, now I would like to invite the evaluator Toastmaster Kalpana to present her report. Thank you, General Evaluator Arthi. I am not done yet, says the crazy, curious imp in, in uh, Risha. Well, what a cryptic start with a cryptic title. You shot straight arrows at us when you asked the question, who am I? That question was not directed just at you. It was directed at us also as it made us curious enough to look into ourselves to know who am I. So your speech, let me tell you what was it that I appreciated about it. You kept me glued. The journey that you took me through your life had a ball park figure of childhood with your siblings, especially with your sisters. I can imagine how it must have been for you and it brought on a smile. Your crazy curiosity took you to an adventurous path of exploration. Look at the diversity. I, it's my personal opinion. I feel you might be a Gemini because you have had been to an NGO. You have done street plays. You help people who are having some startups. Tell me what it is that you haven't tried in your life. What a wonderful peep, Toastmaster Risha. Wonderful, your speech flew from one paragraph to another smoothly. Even though there were humps, you never made us feel it. Especially the hump in your life when you spoke to us about your friend. It gave us a peep into how you are an empathetic person, how you care for others, very humane of you. Very wonderful to know the warm side in the icebreaker speech of yours. But like every speech, every time we speak, there is always room for improvement and space for improvement. My first thing will be that you had to adjust your camera angle because we lost your eye contact. We also could see that physical movements were very limited because you were far away from the camera. At the same time, your speech was really fast. It took us a little of a strain to follow you while you were speaking. 
a little slow, a little voice modulation, a little emotions of laughter, fun, joy, and sadness as you dealt with your friend's depression would have really added to your speech. General awareness, self-awareness made us really aware of your speech. And curiosity kills the cat. That's what we say. But when we listen to your speech, curiosity doesn't kill the cat. All the best to you for all the future speeches, Toastmaster Risha. Over to you, General Evaluator. Thank you, Toastmaster Kalpana. That was a really good evaluation. Uh, now, I would like to invite Toastmaster Dheeraj to, for uh, his evaluation report. Thank you, General Evaluator, for this opportunity. What the speech, Shreya? Come on. You have clearly fulfilled the purpose of the speech by demonstrating your leadership style and trait. There is a famous quote and it goes like, to be a leader, you have to lead yourself first. And you have exhibited this in your speech. You have dissected, you have investigated it. What is your leadership style? What are the different leadership styles? And you told us about that you are an altru altruistic leadership personality. I really liked your speech and you did it a great job. Your eye contact was wonderful. You finished your speech within the time frame. Your gestures, I can see that you were making different gestures when the different sentences and different expressions were needed. Your pacing was good. You are giving time for the audience to grasp what you are saying. And one more thing that I like the most is your comfort level. You joined early and you can see that you are not nervous. You are confident enough that you are going to deliver a very good speech. The transition between the speech from one speech to another paragraph was very good and that grabbed the uh, audience attention. In the beginning, you raised the questions. That is also a very uh, good uh, from the audience point of view. You engage, it keeps the audience engaged. Another thing that like I keep saying that in India, the majority of the adults stay in India. I mean, so the majority portion of Indians are adults and we need to push them for positivity and patriotism. So you bring the positivity in your speech by motivating the audience. Like you said, comfort level comes because of the insecure, uh, like, we stay in the comfort level because of our insecurity. We need to push our limitations. So that was a good thing. Like, but uh, you know that anything need, can be better further. So there are a few things like which you, if you work upon, you can have a very impactful speech from next on. The first thing that I felt is uh, your camera setting. In the beginning that like you should uh, check where, where is the camera position and where is your view in the camera because you can see that your upper part was uh, missing in the camera. Another thing that could have been better is the involving story in the speech, like how you realize that uh, which type of leader you are and how in, during the life you have evolved as a leadership. Like when no one can be a particular leader at the beginning of stage, like in the beginning, I was like an authoritative leader. Then I started uh, becoming a participative leader and so on. And the third thing is the voice modulation. Like when you were saying authoritative, you should have come forward and said Khadu's type. Like similarly, you could have added something similar. So to make the, your speech fascinating for the audience and it keeps the audience motivated to stay with you till the last uh, word of your speech. Overall, it was a wonderful speech. You have exhibited your leadership style and we appreciate it. Best of luck for your uh, future endeavor. Over to you, General Valley. Thank you, Toastmaster Dheeraj, for the crisp evaluation. Now, I would like to invite Toastmaster Nikita for the evaluation. Thank you so much, uh, Toastmaster Arti. Uh, can I request uh, Toastmaster Dheeraj to keep its uh, record of the time while I'm speaking? Ah, yes, please. Okay. Um, can you show me the timing cards? Ah, uh, yes. Uh, is the timer card visible? Yes, thank you so much, Toastmaster Peter. So, Toastmaster Monica. Toastmaster Monica, you had a very good attempt at your speech. You tried to use your vocal variety. You tried to use hand gestures. I love the fact that you actually worked on your hand gestures and thought about it because some hand gestures, like on the word actually, were thought through when you just uh, put your hand on your chin. 
the example of Buddha that you used and also the quotes that you used were very nice because they made uh, the audience more relevant. It made uh, your speech was more relevant to the audience that way. I like also the fact that you used personal examples to state your point, like the story of your engineering college. When you say state examples of your past or some relatable examples like your college life, your, uh, your speech automatically becomes much more relatable to the audience. You also did an audience engagement, which was very nice. You asked a question to the audience and made sure, and that was the middle of your speech, so you made sure that they do not uh, zone out and they are involved with your speech. I also like the fact that you did not use a background filter and you did not blur your background because when you do that, you cannot see all the hand movements. So the fact that you did not blur the background and your camera angle, we could see your whole body. So we could see all the hand movements that you were trying to do, which was a very nice thing, given that the uh, topic of your speech was to, uh, the, the objective of your speech was to enhance your body movements. Now, as they say, feedback is the key to success. If I have to give you feedback, it would be that you could start by stating the point of your speech with a story. You can start with a story because that grasps immediate audience engagement. I would also recommend you to try more vocal variety. I like the fact that you used hand gestures, but more vocal variety of something like, hey, and then that would just have some peaks in your speech where you actually engage the audience much more. I would also recommend you to stick to the theme and the title and in between your speech, come back to why you chose the title, enhancing on the title of the speech so that people can relate the title with the content of the speech. I would also suggest you to practice your speech more to avoid any repetitions and filler words uh, so that you're more confident and more fluent while you're speaking. Last but not the least, I would like to suggest you to stick to a style of speaking. It could either be a humorous uh, style of speaking or a narrative style of speaking, but you can stick to the style of speaking uh, till the end. I, in the end, I really like that you ended with a good takeaway note, although if that would have been a crisper takeaway note in the end, it would have made your speech end with a bang and an impact. Thank you so much and over to you, General Evaluator. Thank you, Toastmaster Nikita, for a wonderful report. Uh, now I would like to uh, invite Timer to give a report. Toastmaster Nikita. Thank you so much, uh, Toastmaster RV. For Toastmaster Kalpna, I could not show the uh, cards because of a glitch, but I sent in the chat. Uh, she qualified uh, the timing and so did Toastmaster Thiraj. Uh, for uh, my speech, uh, I saw that Toastmaster Thiraj uh, did not show the red card, so I believe that I've also qualified for the voting. So all three evaluators have qualified. Thank you, Toastmaster Nikita. Uh, Zoom Master, can we launch the poll? For the best evaluator? Yes, yeah, sure. So actually, we didn't uh, take the accountant's report, perhaps. Uh, it's all done. Uh, that can be done later on because evaluator will be also involved in that. Zoom master? Yeah, it's done. Okay. First of all, I would like to invite our counter for today's meeting to give his report. Um, hello. Yes, I hope I'm- Master Hars, you are audible. I hope I'm audible and visible now. Yeah, mm -hmm. so uh, starting with the our counter report, uh, Manas used two repetitions, two short poses. Dheeraj, in his speech, used two and and two short poses. Akarshak used, uh, Akarshak had one repetition in his whole stint as a uh, Toastmaster of the day. Uh, Anisha was flawless during her TM uh, 
the table topic session nikita used one and one r and one short pause aarti used one repetitive word rishav used one r and one short pause kalpana was flawless shreya used one short pause in her speech monica used four repetitive words one short pause and three long pauses uh raza used one repetitive word uh and one short pause rishav i guess we covered rishav and me harsh uh, used two repetitive words that's it for the r counter report over to you uh, general evaluator arthi thank you toastmaster harsh that was uh, really a crisp report uh, now i would like to invite grammarian toastmaster akarsak for his grammarian report um sorry i didn't capture the information uh, but if you could just cover that in your general evaluation pardon uh yes you can go with your general evaluator report yeah. okay uh now it's time for my general evaluation for today's meeting general evaluator conducts the evaluation portion of the meeting and before i start my general evaluation uh, i would like to praise and uh, also thank toastmasters who have taken two roles all together toastmaster manas as a sai and zoom master toastmaster dheeraj as presiding officer and evaluator toastmaster akarsak as gmod and grammarian toastmaster nikita evaluator and timer that's um, really good that uh, toastmasters are taking two roles meeting started uh, just on time sa toastmaster manas uh, read out the mission of the club and introduced your presiding officer uh, toastmaster manas as zoom master your role was fabulous no technical glitches as such presiding officer the women we got in your speech impressed me you introduced tmod uh, toastmaster of the day in a different style uh, one suggestion uh, please try to introduce guests in the beginning and uh, now the speaker toastmaster risa that was your ice breaker speech congratulations and welcome to the speakers community toastmasters club although it was a, an ice breaker speech you were very confident and uh, congratulations toastmasters reya you are right leadership is not a title your speech was really good toastmaster monica lip live in present that is needed in our life wonderful your speech was wonderful toastmaster of the day toastmaster akarsa you carried the theme throughout the session you asked the question what level of craziness in all of us everyone started to tell their stories you followed the pattern name title title name before every speech you asked the speakers to check their audio and video uh, one suggestion you could have asked some more role players also to tell their crazy stories i would have loved to listen to their stories also you handled this session very well overall you uh, you chose the theme very well and um, overall it was really good timer you presented a crisp report a counter you gave a very crisp and uh, detailed report evaluator always smiling toastmaster kalpana 
I can get some clue from for my next evaluation. That was a very good evaluation. Toastmaster Deeras and uh, Toastmaster Nikita, both of you have done the evaluation really good. Uh, all, overall, the meeting was wonderful. The theme was good. And um, thank you. Over to you, presiding officer. Uh, uh, now, I would like to invite Grammarian if he has completed his report. Uh, actually, this time we have ensured that we don't make grammatical mistakes. So that, uh, okay. okay. In the absence of our grammarian, we have ensured that we don't make any grammatical mistakes. And I hope everyone has used the word of the day and the phrase of the day. Uh, with this, I <laughs> thank, our you, thank you, General Evaluator, First Master Arti, uh, for giving us a detailed feedback and helping us to improve our the club meeting. Now, let us move to the next part. And before that, uh, let's have the poll for the remaining roles. Uh, we can have the polls for uh, main role and auxiliary role. So, Master, can you help with this? Uh, Dheeraj, if you don't mind, if I could have the baton back because I am not done with my part yet. Oh, yes, yes, sure. <laughs> Please, take the stage. Uh, you, we can do the vote, voting first and then I'll continue. Ah, yes. Please, raise the poll, then we will give it back to the team one. Uh, yes, uh, it's done. But if don't raise the poll for the main role pair, let the team mod finish it, and then we can have the poll for the uh, main role. Uh, over to you, Toastmaster of the day. Thank you. I'm sorry for stealing the stage again. Okay, so when you consider this one quote by Steve Jobs, you realize being crazy is not about thinking outside the box itself. It is actually creating a new box for people to think out of. Maybe not a box. Maybe it's a building. Maybe it's just a cat. Maybe it's just concocting an alien species out of nowhere. And the quote goes like this. Here's to the crazy ones, the misfits, the rebels, the troublemakers, the round peg, pegs in the square holes, the ones who see, see things differently. They're not fond of rules. You can quote them, disagree with them, glorify or vilify them. But the only thing you can't do is ignore them because they change things. They push the human race forward. And while some may seem like the crazy ones, we see genius. Because the ones who are crazy enough to think that they can change the world are the ones who do. Is your mind and heart in the right place to be crazy? Do you still feel being crazy is a bad thing? You are always the right person to know what is good and bad for you. Go ahead and be crazy right now. Open your cameras and give me the weirdest smiles like this. See, it's a cryptic smile. Can you do that right now? Nikita, I don't see your camera on. She must be busy eating. <laughs> no, I'm <laughs> Don't put me in the spot, Akashaka. <laughs> you can have your revenge, no worries. Okay. Okay. So thank you so much, everyone, for bearing with me. And I'll just pass on the hammer back to the presiding officer. Yeah. Thank you, Toastmaster of the Day. We enjoyed your uh, meeting. Thanks for choosing such a nice uh, theme for today's meeting. And with this, we move on to the last uh, poll left. Uh, that is the role, main role player. Uh, Zoom Master, please launch the poll.
Yeah, we are done with the polls. Uh, yes, we have completely covered all the polls. So let's move on to the next part of the meeting. Uh, uh, Zoom masters, are we ready with the certificates or you want some time for getting it prepared? No, it's prepared already, but uh, can you take up with the, our guest, please? Uh, I Just don't one know. guest is there. One guest uh, was there. Yes, it was there. It joined before after my presiding officer speech or in between my speech. That's why I was unable to capture and catch okay, her. She left, she left, she left right now. Yes. She found okay, us all right. crazy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we will we'll, okay, yeah. we'll go with that certificates. So someone help me to, you know, um, take the pictures. Yeah, I will take it. Sure. No issue. So the most awaited part, let's see who has won the speech. Okay, congratulations to us, Master Deserve Jain for giving your icebreaker speech, but it did not look like an icebreaker. You are wonderful, you are fantastic. Congratulations for taking the right step. We are seeing a leader, a political leader in you, a good vocal. I think he has left, if I'm right. I just saw him leave, you know. Uh, Nini, I'm your empty mode. Yeah, 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 yeah. Here is, here is, you just put, put him spotlight and take the. Ah, uh, sure, sure, sure. I'm spotlighting him. Add spotlight, and I'm capturing this smile, please. Yes. Yeah. Captured. Uh, let me paste it. Yeah, it's done. Okay. Let's move on to the next no, certificate. No, bring him a certificate for his icebreaker speech, right? Yeah. There's a certification for icebreaker speech too, if I recall correct. Yes, it is uh, icebreaker. Yeah, so one icebreaker speech and one winning speech. Uh, yes, so, Kalpana yeah, has so... to wait now. Hold on, hold on, please. <laughs> Sorry. Kalpana is crazy today. She is... I, uh, I, yeah. <laughs> half of my mind is, you know, because I'm at my mother's place, yeah. half of my mind is there. Okay, right now we are moving to that auxiliary role place. Sorry, sir. Yes. So, uh, best role player goes to both Harsh and Nikita. Congratulations to both of you. Both are uh, done well. And a uh, spotlight, both of them. Both Now you can see that how the crazy was meeting was. Everyone was performing well. Uh, add spotlight to uh, just a minute. Uh, remove me. I'm not needed. Uh, and Nikita, yes. She, she must be there. Uh, uh, Nikita, please uh, switch on your video so that we can click your photo. She is crazy for the dish she is preparing. She is busy. Uh, Nikita, please. Okay. Okay. Uh, so let me take the photo uh, with uh, Harsh only. Ah, yes, Nikita has come. Yeah, just a minute. Uh, let me add you to the spotlight. Yes. Uh, yes, it's done. Yeah, it's done. Uh, let's move to the next. Uh... Okay, uh, we can remove them. Uh... What's well, the best table topic goes to Risha. So Risha is killing me. So I can see uh, he has done first time and he's uh, getting all the awards. Yes, Prince. Okay, okay. Let's move to the next uh, certificate. He's so happy, we can see. Uh, best validator goes to Toastmaster Kalpana. Yes, congratulations Toastmaster Kalpana. Let me take your photo. Uh, yes. Now let's move to the next uh, certificate that goes to the best uh, role player. Oh, it, that was obvious, uh, Akashak. Congratulations to us, Master Akashak. Uh, 
for getting the i think that today both of you have made some arrangement you are getting all the awards <laughs> thank you thanks it's good you. it's good that if you both uh, join together yeah it's done uh, i think that we are left with the best speaker yeah okay again reserve so he has won all the certificates that's a good thing and uh, now we make a uh, rule like if a person is getting the best speaker he will take the team award role next time let me click a photo <laughs> with you uh, that uh, was fun that was a good one veeraj yeah so, so we have a of modi for the next week so be uh, manas please uh, note unfortunately i won't be available actually i'll be traveling this month okay so he has he has become a politician <laughs> you can see <laughs> he's going to meet modi <laughs> yes uh, uh, Just a minute. Uh, let me uh, click save the photo. <clears throat> ah, yes, we are done. Uh, so with this, I officially close the meeting. The meeting is open now for uh, networking sessions. So, Zoom Master, please uh, stop the recording.